It's a program that's unique, creative, and lucrative. Juxtaposition Arts gives black and brown youth in North Minneapolis a very specialized launching pad to succeed and thrive financially. I spoke with the managing director, Gabrielle Greer, earlier this evening. Gabrielle Greer joining us from Juxtaposition Arts. Welcome, glad to have you with us. Thanks, Susan, thanks for having me. Well, tell me first of all about this program. Mm -hmm. So Juxtaposition Arts is a teen art and design center in North Minneapolis. Our primary objective is to create opportunities for young people to be able to take their gifts, their talents and their abilities and create opportunities that impact the economy. And I know this is a different approach at working with kids. Kind of tell me about the creative take you're, you're taking here. I would say that our organization lives inside of the spaces of nuances, which means we take multiple different approaches and use that as a way to um, meld and mix the talents of young people. So what that means is graphic design, ceramics, um, architectural design, urban planning, and contemporary art are labs that the young people have an opportunity to become a part of. And this is really interesting too, because you said you kind of play off what their natural interests are, right? Right, so a young person as old as eight years old can start, they enter into a um, intro class and there they get to learn traditional drawing and art techniques. And there we get an opportunity to see what their interests are. And from there, then they get exposed um, to the other um, labs and have an opportunity to choose from there. And it seems like this is something that really kind of sets them up for a trajectory. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I would say that um, we all know that right now the environment and the context in terms of the social climate is one that is challenging for, for a lot of buck and brown children in our cities. And our goal is to create opportunities as soon as they are eight, um, have the skill sets that provide an opportunity for their life paths to be changed and um, create opportunities for their future. And I know this work you've spent so much time doing. Why is this so personal to you, this cause? It is imperative that young people understand that no matter what your age or your background or where you come from, everyone deserves an opportunity to experience really being able to tap into um, who they are and what they care about and what they're good at. And Juxta is unique in that way. Um, and, and that's why I'm here. And speaking of unique, tell me about that name. So the story behind the name is really that um, we take things together that don't really make sense and provide a way for them to um, coexist. Roger Cummings, uh, one of the co-founders of Juxtaposition Arts, was an artist and designer in high school. He started doing like spray painting um, jackets and canvases in high school. And then that became one of our founding programs here at Juxta called Free Wall, where young people get an opportunity to be entered into experiencing um, spray painting and aerosol um, as a practice. And I, I wanna go back to something you said a moment ago about black and brown children in our area, especially being on the front row of extra trauma these past couple of years here. And what do you hope, what in your heart is really the desire here that this process does for healing? Yeah, I would say juxta being black owned and being right as one of the pillars in North Minneapolis is I think the premise of what, what we hope for is that young people can drive by in their neighborhood and see a building that's beautiful, that has had thought and care and intention put into it. And they don't have to drive 30 minutes or 20 minutes out of the city um, to experience that it's right here in their neighborhood. And that's so powerful. So thank you for talking about this. And I just want to know too, I think there will be some people watching saying, how do I get involved with this program? Yeah, I think the first thing is that we have a groundbreaking event on September 17th from 4 to 6 p.m. That's probably the best way to get to know Juxta. There will be activities and um, special guests and food and really a launch into our new building. I think the next way is to go to our website. Those who are interested in understanding our programs and what we offer um, can go there. And then folks that are interested in donating, for sure there is a way to do that on our website um, at juxtapositionarts.org. We'll be right back.